it'll be what it is and it'll be fun. This will make sense, maybe. When you topple over, you topple over. Let's try to tie it all together. Welcome back, and or thanks for joining us for your first movement session with us. We are going to move and groove today, probably try to incorporate crow and cobra in a little bit of uh, ground flow-ish. We'll see what happens. Uh, move within your ability, practice at your own risk, and we'll get started. Come on down to our backs. I'll go knees towards the ceiling. And we'll just sway our knees side to side. Bringing awareness to my breath. Maybe exhaling as the knees go to the side, inhaling slow to center, and exhaling over to the other side. Next time your knees fall to the right, we'll reach to the knees with the right hand and we'll open up the left. Just casually, no big deal, just relax. Okay, we'll sway through center. This time the bottom arm, the left arm reaches towards the feet, the knee and the right arm will open up looking to that arm. Coming back to center, fingertips pointing towards the heels, and we'll come into a typical bridge flow. We're going to press into the floor and lift the arms up, and come on down. Trying to time that with our breath, so we inhale. Once my lungs are full, I've reached the top, and I'm going to exhale. Down. And down. And we can start to try to time the arms with the hips. Try to get them to touch or raise up at the same time. So that means the arms move double time to the hips. And down. Two more. And down. One more. And down. Okay. Bring our knees into the chest. We'll just gently rock front to back. And then I'm going to release the left leg and alternate, releasing the right. The next time you have the right knee, we'll pause. Let the shoulders fall towards the mat. Let the head rest down. Maybe the left heel touches the floor. Maybe it doesn't. Take the right knee into the left hand. And we'll cross the body. Right arm opens to the opposite side. Inhaling to center. We're going to switch three times, left knee in, right knee in, left knee in, let the head and shoulders find the floor, taking the knee into the right hand, crossing the body, left arm opens to the side, maybe looking over the left shoulder. Inhaling to center. I'm going to keep that left knee. I'm going to axe kick the right to come up. And let's do that five times for fun. So I'm going to round my back, 
tuck my chin, reach over my head, and then chop. Two. So if I reach with the leg, my hips lift, and as I chop down, I use my ass to hit the brakes to come up. That's probably three or four. And one more. Why not? On the back end, we'll pause at the bottom, and we'll switch three times. Right knee, left knee, right knee, and then that chop with the left foot. Again, don't hit your head on the floor. Chin tucks. And take control as you rock up. It shouldn't be, what's going on here? You know, Feel the floor. And hit the bricks. One more at the top. Good, with our left leg long, we'll just wrap around the right. We'll come into a little twist. So I'm gonna reach across with the left arm, hugging that right knee, and reach to the back with the right arm. Coming back to front, uncrossing that left foot. I'm going to drop back, and this time we'll switch with the little axe kick, we'll call it. So as I come back, switching, left knee in, right knee long, for two, and for three. At the top, that right leg now is going to wrap, right arm wraps the knee, sitting up nice and tall. Left arm will reach. Good. Back to front. Unwind. Let's do three axe kick switches, if you will. One, two, three. Left leg is long, left arm plants. I'm just gonna turn over, pull that left leg underneath me to get to my tabletop, hands and knees position. From my hands and knees position, we're just gonna do a little knee hand rocking. So, like a child's pose, shifting forward, hinging at the hips and shoulders into my cobra. Inhale and exhale, down and back. Inhale, inflate, shifting through, inhale the lift, exhale the sink, inhale floating up, inhale float, and sink. One more. Good, coming back to that tabletop. Let's send the right leg long, and we're just gonna peel the heel down, draw a bow, right arm goes towards the ceiling. I'm gonna reach overhead with that top arm. As I do, I'm gonna lift the ribs up, try to open that right side of my body. And hand comes down, knee comes back, opposite side. Left leg long, left heel falls to the side. Drawing the bow, left arm goes up. Reaching overhead, lifting the ribs. Hand and knee return, we'll do one more each side. Right leg long, and sweep the arm up. And then reach overhead. Or you could have come drawing the bow like we did last time. And then reaching. Coming back to our tabletop. Reaching. And I'm going to sweep. And then reach overhead.
coming back to that tabletop position. Let's step the right foot outside of the right hand. So basically coming into my low lunge, knee down, and I'm just going to shift here, hips back, hips forward. Hips forward, hips back. As I come forward, I'm going to peel the chest up a little bit to look to see what's in front of me, and then press back. Let's add a little pause here. I'm going to reach with the toes, and then I'm going to peel them up for three. Reach, and peel. Reach, and peel, and I reach, I'm going to shift forward. Let's go top of the back foot to the mat, and let's lift the knee for five. So I'm going to press to the top of my foot. If that's too much, you can go ball the foot and lift. Ball the foot and lift. So kick into the floor. This one I'm going to kick and hold, and I'm going to pivot my hips towards the floor. Coming down, switching right and foot goes back, left foot steps forward. And again, for now, just rocking the hips forward, rocking the hips back. Shifting forward, shifting back. Once more, and then we'll pause. Good. And again, like we did previously, bringing awareness to my foot, reaching through the toes, and then lifting the toes. For two, reach, and pull. Reach. And pull. As I reach, I'm going to shift forward. I'm going to kick into the top of the foot. Knee floats up. One. For two. For three. For four. And for five. Good. Shifting back, that leg steps back. Let's step the right foot forward. This time I'm going to shift and frame over that foot. Coming to my low lunge. I'll inhale the arms up, coming into a crescent lunge. From here, I'm going to pull the shoulders back and down as I shift the arms behind me. I'm going to peel the chest towards the ceiling. And then I'm going to bring awareness to my left hip, my back leg. I'm going to try to drive that hip forward. I want to stretch that hip flexor. Try to open up the lower abdominal. Still lifting through the chest, reaching the arms back. And we'll come back to center. And we'll step back and we'll switch sides. Left foot steps up. Since it's outside my hand, as I come up, I'm going to shift over it. Inhale, sweeping the arms up. Shoulder blades back and down. Lifting the chest up. And then I'm bringing awareness to that back hip. I'm going to try to drive it forward like I'm squeezing my glutes and still lift through the chest and breathe, of course. And hands come down. We'll step that left foot to the back, shifting to our child's pose. Toes together, knees apart. And this wave back to that cobra, but we're going to use a little more spinal articulation. So as I lift up, I'm going to really think of that cat pose, round spine. And then I'm going to press as I hips drop. Let's add a little foot curl here. Again, that helps bring attention to my hips. I'm going to drive my hips forward. And then I'll land the feet and shift back. Inhale like a wave curling up. Like my cat. And into my cow type posture. Feet can curl up if you don't want to. Leave them down. And then we'll shift back. 
Two more. Rounding, waving forward. Hips dip. And pressing back. In front of this child's pose position, I'm going to engage my toes and press through the floor. My knees will float up a little bit. I'm going to walk into my squat. Whatever that means for you, especially coming to it in this way, my heels might be lifted. And that's fine. We can shift side to side, favoring one foot, one heel up, one heel down. Looking to my right, looking to my left. One more each side. And we'll come to center and let, try to let both heels sink, lifting my chest. Arms are my counterbalance. And I can use a weight here if I'm going to fall back. And I'll just let the hips sink. forward. Knees can come down. Let's add a little bit of a flow here, like a crawling position. We're going to go, I'll just show you. So from our child, I'm going to shift through the tabletop and we're going to alternate one knee stepping up, kind of like that push-pull crawl position, except I'm not going to adjust my arms. So in my low plank, I'm going to press back, child's pose. As I shift forward this time, my left knee will come up and press back. I'm using my chaturanga arms, elbows hug the ribs and press. Shifting forward, knee comes up. Shifting forward. Good, let's pause with the left knee forward. And we'll peel the chest up. Take the right arm across the chest. And we'll reach with the left. So I'm looking in the direction of the left knee. Left arm's reaching, chest lifts. Going back to the front, pressing up, child's pose. And shifting forward, right knee comes up. Left arm underneath the chest, pressing up, right arm reaches. Sweeping it back, chaturanga arms, pressing back. Child's pose. Now let's shift straight forward, coming into a traditional cobra. And then we'll press into an up dog. Then we'll land and come back. Let's do two more. Shifting forward, landing, up dog. Shifting back. And last one, forward. And back. Good. From here, let's add a little bit of crumb. We'll get a taste of it, and then we'll try to incorporate that into the mix of this. And we'll build a little, I don't know, multi-move combination. So from my kneeling position, my knees can be apart or hip distance, shoulder distance. I'm gonna plant my hands, tuck my toes, float my knees back, and I like a coiled spring. I fall forward if I move my hands. I take my knees. I like to engage them at the back of my tricep. 
above the elbow. You can go outside and squeeze, but I think of this like a seesaw. So I'm gonna engage the triceps into the knee, and now I can press off my toes, shifting the weight into my hands. If this is enough and you're like, no way, I'm not picking my feet up, that's fine, but let's squeeze the feet up and come back. So we're just gonna rock on and off. If you're not quite there, you wanna do one foot and back, other foot and back. You can always have a pillow in front of you if you're at home or a couple stacks of blocks if you have yoga blocks standing around. But we're just gonna shift and back. Let's do two more. And the last one, we'll try to hold for three. Shifting in and hold for one two, for three, and we'll come back. Knees wide, almost in my squat. Coil of spring, knees come down, child's pose. Good. So we'll just put that little bit of a hop, a little bit of a balance in the mix. and then we'll begin from there. So let's put that flow together from our child's pose. We're gonna go right knee forward as we shift up. This time I'm gonna look in the direction of the knee just so I'm not face down on the floor. And then we'll press back. Left knee forward, looking in the direction of the knee and press back. Coming into that cobra I'm gonna lift my heels and come back. As I come back from that, I'm gonna engage my toes, press my feet up, walk my hands in, rock forward, crow, come back, walk my hands out, tabletop, child's pose. So right knee is one, Left knee is two. Your version of Cobra. Tucking my toes. Walking my hands in. Knees lift. Well, toes. Walk it out. Shift front to back. And repeat. Right knee. Left knee. Cobra, toes tuck, walk it in, seesaw, walk it out, child's, right knee, left knee, your cobra, engage the toes, walk it back, shift it forward. And back. One last one here, and then we'll add a little bit more fun. And we'll land the knees. Take a breather. So if you've been with us before, I've done pressing into the feet to get little hops. We're gonna use that, this time instead of walking our hands to our feet, we're gonna hop our feet to our hands and then seesaw. So we're jumping up into a squat. If that's not within the realm of your capabilities yet, we can coil, step, step, and go. So. For now, let's do five crows where we hop up. So from our child's pose, 
Child's pose with our toes engaged. Coiling a spring as the knees float up because I've pressed through the floor. It's gonna hop my feet forward. I'm gonna not blow out my elbows by smashing them with my knees, but I'm gonna gently land right next to them. And now I'm set up where we were before for that seesaw action. One, hop back, toes coiled and flatten. So let's do that three more times. I'm gonna shift out, engage the toes, coil, hop, seesaw. Hop back, coiled, relax, child's pose. Up, toes, coil, hop, seesaw. I'm using the rocking to take the weight out of different parts of my body so I can hop or tuck my toes or flatten my feet. One more here, shifting. Toes, coil, hop, seesaw, back, hop, shift, down. Since we've been doing that, before we jump into adding that at the end, from our child's pose, let's thread the needle here. I'm going to reach up with the right arm and send it through, right shoulder to the mat. Let that right arm be nice and light. This is giving it a full break. Let rejuvenate. And we'll unthread, reach up and swim it forward. This time the left arm reaches up and slide it through. Again, I'm going to try to be as relaxed as possible in this bottom arm, the left arm this time. Good, we'll come back, twist, swing it forward, and shift back. So, if you're a sweaty mess like I am, and you're wearing shorts, you're going to slip and slide, so towel off those arms, towel off those thighs, those knees, but also make sure you're muscularly activated and engaged to that, for that crow part. So here we go again. We'll go right knee first, left knee, and then at the end we're hopping up this time instead of walking our hands back. So, child's pose, shifting forward, right knee, look to the right, left knee, we'll look to the left, coming forward, finding my version of cobra, whatever it may be, shifting back, toes engaged now, hop forward, settle yourself, find your balance, seesaw. As I hop back, I'm coiled spring, and this time, since from this coil, we'll go right into the dip. Right knee, left knee, and shifting forward. Toes engage, coiled spring, hop, seesaw, landing. You may have a weird hop where you're like, oh, I'm too close, or I'm too far. Just adjust your hands along the way. So as I'm shifting forward, I can pick up and adjust. Little adjustments in the hands. Shifting back to my Cobra. Tucked. Hop. Seesaw. Yeah. Hop. Adjustments, and back, other side, and back, 
engaged. Up. Seesaw. Hop. Knee. Knee. Cobra. Hop. Seesaw. Hop back. Right. Left. Cobra. Maybe up dog. And hop. Seesaw. And one more. Because I wasn't a huge fan of that one. Good, we'll go to our Cobra, to our child's pose. Peeling our way up to kneel. And we'll do a little cool down action here. So from our kneeling position, let's add a little hip swing. It's almost like you're skiing the moguls. I'm gonna go left hand, hips to the left. Right hand, hips to the right. One, two. I'm just landing my hips because Let's add my feet swinging out. So if I mirror you guys, I'm gonna go right hand, right hip, swing. And I'll come back the same way. Right hip, feet tuck, press up. Left hand, left hip, swing. And back. And let's go a little quicker, but smooth. And one more, the opposite side. Back to our kneeling position. We'll step up with the left foot. And we'll shift into that lunge. Let's play here for a moment. So try to imagine a straight line from the top of your head to your grounded knee, hands, we can just chill for now. So as I tuck my chin, I squeeze my glutes, hips come forward, and I'm gonna open up. Inside arm comes down, my right leg's forward, it's my left hand. If my left leg's forward, it's my right hand. Coming to a twist. Cool, engage those toes. Lift the leg, revolve side angle, knee will come down, come back to center, let's just do a side angle while we're at it. I'm going to slide my hand down the inside, extend the leg, heel falls over back there, I reach up towards the ceiling, I'm pressing into the knee, and the knee is pressing into me to open up. I'm not plopping out to the side. I'm going to squeeze my hips forward and actively reach up. Good, we'll come back, land the knee, and we'll come back to our kneeling position. We'll peel our way back and we'll come forward and step up opposite side. So if we're mirroring your right side, if not my left. I'm going to tuck my chin, point my head forward. Let's chill here for a minute. I'm going to float up to that knee and try to find that straight line from the head to the knee. Good. 
planting the inside hand, the right hand if your left leg's forward. Opposite arm reaches towards the ceiling. Toes engaged, lift the knee. Or not. Whatever you like is fine. Wherever you're at is cool. Coming down, that front hand, same side as the knee, is gonna reach up the opposite arm. Again, the knee's lifted, that heel falls to the side. Hips squeeze forward, knee into the arm, becoming one unit. Hands coming down. And we'll go right to plank from here. So just step back, we'll drop the knees, shift back to our child's pose, shifting up to our tabletop. And like we did in the beginning, I'm going to send my left leg back and peel and sweep the arm up. Let's do that three times. So hand and knee come back, and then step back and sweep. Two. And three, actually let's do one more. Step and sweep. And then we'll switch sides. Right leg goes back and sweep it up. And down. For two. For three. And one last one for four and we'll sit back on our heels coming to our kneeling position and one last thing for fun as I inhale I'm going to float up as I float up I'm going to tuck my toes so inhale tuck my toes exhale Let's do that for five. We'll call that one. Slowing our breath down. For two. Coming up. And down for three. For four. On this last one, when we float up, we'll add the arms. We'll sweep the arms overhead. So inhale, floating up, sitting down. And we'll float up. And coming down, whatever's more comfortable for you. Let's do one more big old collective inhale in whatever posture you like. Stacking the shoulders over the hips. Let the shoulders relax down. Let's do a cycle of breaths here real quick. As I inhale, I'm going to use that breath to kind of lift the shoulders and chest. And as I exhale, I'm just going to keep my head elevated, my neck long, and the shoulders will fall. To inhale, chest rises, belly expands, shoulders fall. This time with the breath, we'll sweep the arms up. Take another more sip. And then we'll exhale, shoulders. Arms come down. Let more air out, shoulders fall. And we'll inhale one more time. And we'll exhale, shoulders, hands come down. One final inhale. This time keeping the shoulders down. And exhale, release. And that's time. 
Thanks everyone for watching, tuning in, participating. I will see you guys next week. And enjoy.